Yep. And welcome to another brand new episode of This Week in Disney History. I am your host, Milo Smeasley. And uh, <laughs> uh, I know some of you actually liked the, uh, you know, the, what we did last week with our co-host. So we decided to do it again. So please help me welcome at this time, the host of Simon Time Trivia, my former tag team partner, Simon Says. How are you doing, man? What's up, buddy? Yeah. I feel like I let you down. If I would have known there was a dress code, I would have put my Captain Hook costume on. <laughs> That's all right. You could, uh, you could be TikTok. Ah, oh, there it is. You have an alligator costume? I'm pretty sure I do somewhere around here. <laughs> I have costumes for every occasion. Because you have to, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, we're going to start off with November 8th. So we left, uh, we stopped at November 7th. So November 8th, 1973, uh, Walt Disney's 21st animated feature, Robin Hood, makes its debut in theaters. Are you a big Robin Hood fan? Dude, Whistle Stop is a song that I can't get out of my head no matter how long it's been since I've watched that movie. Uh, I actually pictured you more of a Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, uh, na <laughs> na naked Kevin Costner, but on screen uh, fan. But yeah, hey, yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, I, pre I prefer uh, Prince John's thumb sucking to Kevin okay. Costner's butt. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, and then uh, in 2013, this date, 2013, Thor, Dark World. You know what? Let's just, nobody cares. Uh, November, <laughs> actually, are you a fan? Uh, like, uh, I mean, nobody yeah, really. Dude. You like the second one? Malekith is such a scary looking, like, bad guy, dude. Granted, the movie was forgettable, but just the villain was cool. You're right. Uh, you're right. Move on. No, move on. <laughs> you're, uh, right. you're right. No, November 9th, November 9th, 1994, having been open since June 1956, the Skyway in Disneyland closes. And then get this, Simon, just five years later to the day, the Walt Disney World Skyway closes at the, at the Magic Kingdom. Hey, I, uh, I, you, you, you've been on? I probably went on when I was when I was younger, but that was before my like full time, like before I moved to Orlando and and became like a, a regular and at you know Disney. Um, yeah, man. So I probably went on younger, but now they have the new Skyway gondolas at Epcot Studios. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you have you been on that yet? I haven't, but they look so they look amazing and and terrifying. Terrifying, the, the terrifying was gonna be the yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's cool. They have barf bags for you and handles. The Do they? Bunch. Yes. Just in case you need one. Yeah, I probably will. All right. <laughs> you know uh, me. You've been to the parks with me. And then uh, something I was actually at November 9th, 2017. I was there on this day at Disney's Hollywood Studios. They un uh, unveiled their flurry of fun, uh, which included two shows. The first was Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. I was told like that was how you, you have to say Bam! When you, uh, when you say it's literally in all capital letters uh, when on you know uh, and then the sunset seasons greetings uh, down Sunset Boulevard and they do the uh, projection on the Tower of Terror. Have you seen those two Christmas any of those two Christmas time shows at I the studios, not. dude? Projecting not, on the tower? Yeah, I'm not sure if they're, they're going to do it yet. Mm. uh this year uh you know because of things and things like that uh tend to bring crowds and stuff like that so they're trying to eliminate you know just walk you know but bunches of crowds so don't know if they're going to do those this year but uh, uh i definitely have pictures like when you're looking at this there'll be a picture over here uh <laughs> so yeah um did i look the wrong way yeah i look this yeah. way Okay. Uh, <laughs> November 10th. Uh, what was this? 19 or no, November 10th, 2006. 2006. Although not alive, Walt Disney receives the very first star on the Anaheim Walk of Fame. Look at that, dude. Yeah. Fortunately, he wasn't there to put his feet prints in. So I stood in for him, though. It was cool. Did you? Those are your yes. feet prints. Yes, this is my feet prints. Since, since it's famously known that Milo and Walt Disney have the exact same shoe size. Yeah, I, of course. Fun right. fact. It's in all the trivia books. <laughs> uh, and then uh, also on this day, uh, something that you have a little bit of 
you, I think you did, 2016. 2016, November 10th, 2016, Frozen, a musical spectacular, oh. debuts on the Disney Cruise Line ship, The Wonder. Now, you have been on The Wonder. I have. Did you see this show while you were there? I think the one we saw was Imagination. Is that what, it, what it's called? The little, the, 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 the little kid who wants to make a wish. And, oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's not uh, magic. Yeah, but I, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. That's, that's um, the one we saw. All right. So, but uh, yeah, yeah, so Frozen is also on there. If you guys haven't seen this one, it's, it's without too many spoilers. You can skip ahead about 15 seconds if you don't <laughs> want spoilers. But the show starts out as a puppet show as uh, Anna and Elsa, the performers uh, performing that night, are also performing with puppets to portray their younger selves. But Whoa. Simon, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, previously in the in 2015, you and I attended the press release, the event that they announced that they were bringing Frozen to the Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, we got to take pictures and hug Olaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. That was the very first time I had met Olaf, so it was pretty awesome. Yeah, same here. Um... November, what are we on? 11th? Yeah, November yep. 11th. This is actually a pretty cool day. There's a couple, a couple of cool things. 1991, uh, the Contemporary Resort opens up their convention center. I've done a lot of cool things there. They've had uh, the D23 Destination Ds there. So those have been really, really cool to be able to go there. Uh, but moving along, November 11th, 1992, right? Aladdin has its world premiere. Yes, it big? does. That's, are you a, I knew that one. Aladdin? You you're an Aladdin fan? That's my favorite Disney what, movie. Is it? Yeah. What's your favorite song? Uh, probably the Prince Ali reprise. Okay. Because you know, because you know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you know, cheap plug. Uh, I hosted the very the 25th anniversary reunion of the Aladdin cast at GalaxyCon. So. I yeah, I do know that. I just wanted to throw that out there. And you got to rub <laughs> elbows with with Jonathan Freeman. Yes. Yes, and Gilbert Godfrey. Are we saying Gilbert Godfrey. Are we saying happy birthday to Gilbert Godfrey because it was on his birthday. That's amazing. Uh, 1993. This date on 1993, Disney announced their Disney America theme park, which never happened. It was supposed to be in Virginia, right outside Washington D.C., and oh. uh, you know, it never never came to fruition. So. So I've been to all of them in the States. Uh, November 11th, yeah. 1994, the very first Santa Claus movie starring Tim Allen was released in theaters. Uh, are you a fan of one, two, or three? I like the first one. The first one. Of course, that's what, yeah. what everyone says. It's a it's a classic. Although, like, uh, Martin Short as Jack Frost I, is I was fantastic. Just about to say, you stole the words right out of my mouth, dude. He, he steals that movie, too. Uh, so if you... If you saw Santa on your roof, knowing that all you had to do was make him fall and possibly <laughs> die, would you do that? Or would you uh, be like, hey, Santa, here's cookies? Uh, I plead the fifth. I'm going to say uh, I would not push Santa off. Oh, wait, this is a video. <laughs> would, you want the yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. would you want the responsibility of being Santa, though? Yeah, dude. All the milk and cookies? <laughs> all the toys? Come on. I, oh yeah, toy. Yeah, you get to play with all the toys before you give them to all the kids. Yeah, I would delegate more of the work to the elves. They'll kind of sit back and kick my feet up and say, "All right, this is the house. This is the house." <laughs> I'd have to have my son Harrison play the role of the kid and kind of do most of the real, real work. The most you know. of the real work. You know. Uh, and then uh, November eleventh, two thousand eleven. So eleven, eleven, eleven. Eleven different couples from eleven different cities were married at the Walt Disney World Resort. That's amazing. All at the same time. Huge ceremony. That's amazing. Would you want that? Would you want to share your no, big day? With... No, no, yeah. I want my day. Yeah, your day was pretty amazing too, yeah. but. I want my day, like I don't want to, yeah. no. Cause then you have to share cake. With these yeah, guys. I got sand in my shoes on your day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving yeah. on to November 12th. This one is uh, a cool little trivia question. Simon, do you know who was the model for Chernabog in the movie Fantasia? Ooh. Yeah, I feel like that's something I should know being a Disney villain question. I don't know. 
Am what I going to kick myself in the butt? On this date, November 12th, 1939, Bella Lugosi walked into ah. the Disney Studios to be the model of Chernabog. That's amazing, dude. And what would you say if I told you they absolutely hated it and went with somebody else? What? Wow. Yep. How would you hate? They just didn't like the way that he that it it looked, and then they ended up going with uh, with somebody else as the model. So it it could have been Bella Lugosi, but it was not. Dang, <laughs> dude, get Dracula as as a Disney villain? Come on. Yeah. Uh, and then on this date, a huge, huge day, uh, November twelfth, nineteen forty six. Song of the South held its world premiere in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, unfortunately, it's a movie that uh, we will never see uh, yeah. be released on Disney Plus, back in the theaters, on the television. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, you probably have, will not see it. Have you? Unless have you, you own an original. I have not seen it. I heard, I heard it didn't age well. But uh, are there VHSs of it? Uh, I believe our Lu our friend Lou Spector has some copies on the DVD. Mm, so. My best pal. I'll, I'll talk to him. He owes yeah. me a favor. I'm sure, I'm sure he has a couple. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, this date's uh, 1957 was the very first day that Disney stock was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Whoa, that's a huge deal, dude. Yeah, do you have any Disney stock? I do. I have like one share? Yeah. And yeah. The, the, everyone, has, everyone has one share. <laughs> has, like, I, have, I own Disney. Yeah, I mean, you don't, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to march into one of their uh, yes. corporate meetings. To as a, the as shareholders, shareholders meeting and be like, hey, <laughs> I'm here representing my 1%. Uh, and then also huge, huge, huge day, November 12th, 2019. Just last year, we're celebrating the one year anniversary of Disney Plus. Yeah. Can you believe how much time has flown by? I, I, I can't. I remember, I remember like, <laughs> hearing about it and then wanting it and then finally getting it and then yeah are you are you, are you a subscriber to the disney plus oh yeah dude since like the first day i remember counting down to it and the, the funny thing is the main reason i got it was for the simpsons like i oh. love everything else on there and baby harry loves the pixar shorts he's obsessed with bow and piper and all that but the simpsons is where it's at for me have you seen anything on there that like you hadn't seen before but you were like oh my god i finally get to see this you know what the movie brave and man, that was way better than I thought it was going to be. I loved it. I loved it. Loved uh, and then it. they also do like their own, like uh, their own uh, series, their own original series. The Jeff Goldblum stuff is amazing. We just started that. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie Noel, it's good. Yes, absolutely. It's a it's it's a fantastic Christmas movie. I highly I, recommend it. I just watched their little documentary series about the guy that goes around uh, looking up movie props from famous movies. Oh yes, absolutely. That's another great one. Super good. Super good. Great. Yeah. Super jealous. Happy anniversary, guy. Disney Plus. Uh, okay. So November 13th, 1940, we spoke about Fantasia, but Fantasia premieres at the uh, New York's Broadway Theater. This was the same theater that 12 years before Steamboat Willie premiered at. Wow, dude. Fantasia is 80 years old. Can you believe that? 80. Yes. It's almost as old as me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, uh, so starting from this point forward, I should have I should have prefaced this. Every time I sell, say El Capitan, you can probably take a drink because uh, as we get closer, this is the second week of, this is the second week of November. So uh, usually Disney puts out a, um, you know, movie pretty much every Thanksgiving. So this is yeah. around the time that they started doing their world <laughs> premieres at the El Capitan Theater. Uh, 1991, Beauty and the Beast had their world premiere at the El Capitan. And then 1999, Toy Story 2. Yeah, baby. Has its world premiere at the El Capitan Theater. Uh, one, two, or, one, two, three, or four for you, Simon. One, three, two, three, or four. Sure. Three. Because oh, of Lotso, right? Uh, just like you, brother. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> kindred spirit. Yeah, I was yeah. a little like underwhelmed by four, man. I don't know, maybe because three was so good. Yes, I can see that. Plus Woody ends up being like the villain in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah. You're the you first know? person I've talked to that agrees with that. Dude. Uh, so, but yeah, so to, I love to, I, I do love Toy Story too. Like inside Al's Toy Barn, like everything in there is fantastic. Yes. And then uh, our last day this week, November 14th. <laughs> 
14th, right? Yeah, November 14th, 1998. A Bug's Life has its world premiere at the El Capitan. Uh, have you seen Bug's Life? I have. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That movie doesn't get enough press. I don't I agree. I agree. Uh, November 14th, 2002. Not El Capitan related, but literally the same, the very same street. Kermit the Frog gets his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. If I didn't have my virtual background, you would be able to see I have my shelf with all of the Muppets Palisades play sets. Muppets in Space, the uh, Swedish Chef's Kitchen, the uh, Electric Mayhem Band, it's all behind me. Do you have a favorite movie? A favorite Muppet oh, movie? Yeah, you know what? I would probably say either Muppets in Space or Muppet Treasure Island. Okay. Yeah, love those. Uh, I know it's one of the newer ones, but I loved Muppets Most Wanted. With that was really good too. So good. Yes. Yes. So and you got good. The, and you so. got to meet Constantine, which I was I so yes. jealous Look, about. We're going to do it again. Ready? Ready? It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this day, 2007, the Yak and Yeti restaurant opens up at the Animal Kingdom. Um, uh, I'm a huge fan, but I, I love the little uh, the counter service one where they have the, the Chinese food. It was better when it opened. It's still okay now, but uh, yeah. So uh, this this is literally the perfect episode for me to be on. Aladdin is my favorite movie, which I knew was the anniversary, so I wore my shirt. Uh, you're dressed like Smee, my, my, my favorite sidekick, Disney. The Yak and Yeti restaurant is my favorite place to eat there. It's good, right? Yeah, dude. It, it, like you said, it kind of the quality is, uh, but I still love it. Still love it's, it. Love uh, it, love right. it. It's, it. I mean, it's, it's Disney food, but as far as quality, it's probably one of the better ones. For yep, sure. The egg rolls for are sure. good. The rice yeah. is good. Uh, and then a couple more movies to round out the week at the El Capitan. Let's see if you can guess them based on the year. So November, November 14th, 2010, Disney movie, 20, we'll say, we'll say uh, princess movie. Is it Princess and the Frog? No. Damn. It's Tangled. Ah. Tangled with uh, the story of Rapunzel, which is really, really good. Which is not a Pixar movie. Nope. Not a, a Pixar movie. A lot of people think when I've done trivia questions about it, like, uh, Simon, that's a Pixar movie. I uh, know it's not. Nope. It is Disney Studios. Nope. Yep. So Tangled, uh, one of the one of, one of the best uh, Disney princess movies, especially recent years. Well, I don't know. Man, they've been killing it. I mean, just like this movie in 2016, Simon, one movie came out this day, 2016, had their premiere Plenty's at the El Capitan. And you're going to be huh. like, no way. This didn't come out four years ago, but it absolutely did. Yeah, dude, because I was just blown away that Tangled is, was so ten, long ago. It's 10 I remember, years old. I remember seeing the posters of it in the animation courtyard where you used to be able to meet all the characters. Uh, I don't know. What is what is 2016? I'm trying to think of a clue. A clue here would be, uh, hey, hey. Hey, hey. That's my clue. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Four years ago? This is what I'm saying. There's no way, bro. Yep. Wow. Yeah. That was that was Harrison's first favorite movie. I mean, one of the best soundtracks in all of Disney. I remember you saying that before I ever saw the movie, and you posted a status on your Facebook about how you could not get the soundtrack out of your out of your car. And it's, when I got it, agreed. Agreed. It's one it's 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 one of the best. I mean, you know, like it does, you know have one of the the best uh you know broadway writers of recent memory as uh as the songwriters but man yeah so good so Bro, good shy, the song shy, tamatola shiny song is on my playlist every time i leave the house uh have you done karaoke to it yet uh you know what i have at my friday night game the guy downloaded it just for me fantastic oh yes <laughs> oh yes all right so that's going to do it for this week in disney history before we wrap up simon uh, let's give out some plugs. Where can folks find you? Guys, you can find me on the internet, on Facebook at facebook.com slash Simon Time Trivia, on Instagram and Twitter also at Simon Time Trivia. I host virtual live stream games on facebook.com slash Simon Time Trivia, Mondays and Thursdays at 7. And right now you can catch me live and in person Sunday nights at the Aloma Bowling Center in Orlando, Florida at, at 6.30. 
And then Tuesdays at 6.30 at the Aloma Bowl and 9.30 at Island Wings UCF. Are you a good bowler? I am not. <laughs> Surprisingly, can you believe that? They should let you bowl for free so you can, so you can you practice. You know what? They do. They do because they think it's funny. The manager thinks it's hilarious to watch me bowl, so I would get to bowl for free. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we went bowling one time, and I pulled the seat out from – Never mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the video's right here. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and of course, please, uh, I, I ask you if you're watching this, please sub subscribe, follow, like, share, do all that cool share, share, social share. media stuff. Uh, so, yep. So that'll do it for this week. Thanks for watching and join us next week for this week in Disney history. <laughs>